walk me through like that mindset, like how you built yourself back up. Well, I mean, fitness was something that I got into at a young age and, you know, always carried me through whatever job I had. You know, I did construction, it was manual labor. When I ended up in the infantry, yeah, I fit in perfectly into that world because it's very physical. And when I was injured and went through that depression and was struggling, I knew that I was always happier when I was healthier. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things that got me into changing my eating habits, getting back in the gym, which wasn't easy at all. I mean, I tell people all the time, what, what that actually showed me was a side of fitness that I was not used to. Being that person who walked into the gym that was insecure, uh, didn't want people to see me struggling, but I had to get over that. People all the time, we'd meet them all the time, people that want to get in shape, but they're worried about joining the gym, what they're gonna do, and I got to experience that. But then as I started exercising and feeling better, then I didn't care what time of day I went. Then I started using that to my advantage, where I tell people, you know, I had to convince myself I was doing what others can't. Not in an arrogant way, just with, to myself. Right. Because there, you know, no matter what gym you go to, there's always somebody bigger, stronger, faster, but I could stand there and have a guy next to me that is bigger than me and think, but could he do it miss an arm or leg? I mean, deep down, I hope he could. Right. But I have to, you have to give yourself that mentality that you're doing what other people can. When I meet someone who battles with obesity, I say, well, then you have struggles ahead of you, so you will earn that and appreciate it more. And so I think that mindset of doing what other people can't is what really drives me to want to do the best. I am very close to my kids. I have three kids. They're seven, nine, and 12, and they are my motivation. When I was going into the gym in the beginning, I, I tell people all the time, you have to have something stronger than your fear, and mine were my children. The day that I walked out in the living room and my three kids were sitting there, and I knew that I was showing my two boys what a man is, and that's what they're gonna grow up to be, and I was showing my little girl how a man's supposed to be, and that's what she's gonna look for one day, I knew I had to make a change. And I admit to people, I, I talk about it in my book, I'm very open and honest, it did not happen overnight. Just because I had that realization that I had to be better, it didn't just happen. I would make a mistake, fall flat on my face, but it was the thought of them that got me up and going, and it was the thought of them that pushed me through those beginning workouts, getting back into shape, doing whatever it was, and pushing myself to be better. I tell people all the time, you have to have something stronger than your fears. And for me, it is my kids. And I, I use that in whether it's fitness, running a race, business, whatever it is, we all get scared. That's what makes things exciting. But you have to have something stronger than that to say, you know what, I may be afraid to do this, but there's something more important that I have to do this for. There's something in all of our lives that is important to us, you know, whatever that is. I don't think there's anything wrong with someone saying, you know what, I want to have a big house and a sports car, whatever it is. You got to want it bad. Uh, and, you know, I am big on with my kids and other kids. And I've always told people they probably have nieces or nephews or someone near them that looks up to them. And that's what you have to go off of. There is someone watching you. It may not be a child. There is someone watching you that you will motivate. Like, I love the fact that I ended up, you know, in the spotlight and now my story reached more and more people. But if you just motivate one person, that is a world of difference for them. And that's what people have to keep that mindset of. It's like, you know, when you do things, you're not just doing it for yourself, you're doing it for someone else. I think sometimes it's good to have something that, I mean, I'm a pretty positive guy, but I like to have something that drives me to want to outdo, you know, and I've seen, I've had organizations that I felt like weren't right with veterans, so that drove me to do certain things or to fight for things when it comes to veterans or not just for veterans issues, but for veterans to change the way they are. Uh, and I feel like me and there's a lot of other veterans that are in the, the spotlight that it's up to us. If we're going to make a change, we have to start doing that. Be proud of what you've done and where you've come from, but that was only a chapter in your life. Now it's time to conquer something else. I'm several chapters past mine. That's how I got over my depression, was to say, okay, what's next? When I got back into fitness, well then it was, that's all I did. I worked out and ran races. I was, like, I was, I felt like fitness was the answer. Setting goals, you know, and, and achieving little goals at a time, building to get to your next one.